Hello. Well, today I would thought we, I, I'd, I'd do a sales roundup of the last few days, and as you as you can see, this is my eBay screen, and I have sold uh, an original Monet painting for ten hundred flipping million pounds. Mhm. Mm yes. True story. Not really. Um. No, because. It's it's funny, okay? I made a joke. Jeebus. Alright. I don't really sell Monet's. But they did have two in the charity shop for a fiver each. I didn't get them though. No. Uh, today I am wearing a kimono. She better don't. Oh yeah, I did. It's my kimono. Um, Mainly because... One, because I like it. Two, because it was from charity shop for £2.45. Three because it's coming to Marrakesh with me, and four because I haven't shaved under my pits, and I don't want to be showing that on YouTube. Anyways, uh, I was gonna say on that French theme because the French don't shave their pits, do they? Apparently, according to the rumours. So on that French theme, wow, it was like a seamless link. Oh, someone just text me, go, go away, go away for now. Oh, I can't make it go away. You're just going to have to stay there, whoever you are texting me. Anyways, right. So on that French seamless link. If that shows up on the screen, that would be really weird, wouldn't it? You can, like, push your face. No. So, anyway, French. I bought a kettle. It's uh, a one of them. Kettles. Is that upside down, or... I mean, it's a bit weird how, like, YouTube can defy, like, the rules of physics and make the whole universe backwards. It's genius. It's got a whistling thingy. I bought this for five of your earth pounds. And I think I've put it on for about 40. And when I was picking it up, I was like, where does the lead go in? So they give me a discount because of that. No, they didn't. Um, more French things. I bought six 1960s, I think. Scalloped glass dessert bowls made in France. They're quite cool. Someone has sold a set of them for £20. And someone has got a set of three on eBay at the moment for £4. Obviously three isn't really a set. Six is a set. So I've put them on for £20 with offers. I'll be happy to take like £10-£12. I paid £1.99 for them. Um, also this time of year I like to get, um, you know, things that are in season. Because um, it's, you know, spring, summer. So obviously what, what else would you want to buy in spring, summer other than Christmas decorations. Hooray! So I bought six Christmas decorations that are all sort of like this. They're meant to be from the 12 Days of Christmas set, but there's only six of them, which means that that's half the amount of days there are until Christmas, so we better start shopping? I don't know. Anyways, so that's um, Drummer Boy, and then we've got a strange goose. Um, I don't even know what these ones are. I, I have no idea who this dude is. You know, is he a parsnip in a pear tree? I don't know. Um, and then we've got some more gooses. And then a, a lady with her cow. I'm guessing she's a maid of milking. And then two turtle doves. So we're obviously missing all the good days, like the five gold rings, as Eddie is out to say. But hey ho, um, I think they're pretty cool, and I stuck them on for thirty quid with offers. Cause why not? Uh, da -da -da -da. What else? Non-clothing. I've got two more non-clothing bits, and then the rest is all clothes. I'm afraid because it's me and I buy clothes. So. Non-clothing item number one. Now this is seasonal. For £3.50 I bought a picnic hamster. It's not a picnic hamster. <laughs> but it's a 
it's got red gingham on the inside and some plastic stuff. Again, I'm considering keeping it because I consider keeping everything. Um, but I'm going to try and get about £25-£30 when the season ha hots up a bit. They will go like hotcakes. Trust. And then my last bit of non-clothing is something that I think is actually pretty awesome. And it's a big bit of wood. But it's a nice big bit of wood. This is an antique butler's tray made of oak with, I think, brass and turn handles. And it is huge. Oh, look at that lovely bit of grain, though. That is lush, isn't it? That's really nice. It is mahoosive. It's about 70 by 45 centimetres. Um, it would definitely protect you in a storm. Mm -hmm. But um, I've seen one quite similar, not actually as nice as mine, that sold for 70 something pound. I paid a five for this. I'm going to stick it on for 100 pound with offers and then with 15 pound delivery because it's a hunky chunky bit of wood. So yeah, we'll try that and give it a go. Because you never know, someone out there will want it. Right, okay, so bye-bye to people that don't like clothes. Um, <laughs> um, this is, you can have a sweet though. Would you like a... No? Okay. Jeez, you're really rude today. Okay, so clothing. We've got... I went to a new place today. I went to Puff Call, six miles away. And in Bridgend it was raining. And in Puff Call it was a lovely, like sunny beach kind of day and I got a little bit sunburnt which is just madness, madness I tell you Puff Call is a bit of a weird place it's um, a seaside town with a really awful fairground that has killed four people in its past um, and it's got like a rich part which is sort of like Nottage and Newton and that and the seafront and then uh, very mixed community, we get a lot of traveller community staying here, a lot of old people because it's also retirement villages and stuff. So charity shops are like very strange with their content. But that's kind of cool. Oh, and we also have the Elvis Festival in September. So it's just a weird place. Anyway, I decided to go there today. I found two awesome charity shops and then the rest absolutely sucked. So I bought stuff from the first charity shop and then didn't buy anything from the others. So there we go, never mind. Anyway, so I bought this. This is a cute little bag by Alan Ritter, they think is mate. It's just a Chinese brand. But uh, these have sold in the past. I've paid £2.50 for it. And I hope to get about £15, £20. It's nice. It's leather coated. Map of the world. It is missing its strap, but hell, why not? I thought that was cute anyway. Oh, shouldn't do that. Uh, we've got some fugly hotter shoes. Fugly, gold, really ugly. Sometimes fugly sells as in like, ooh, that's a disgusting skirt, I really love it. You know, a hideous skirt convention. And then there's sometimes it's just like, ah, it's just grim. But anyway, these were £2.95. Um, one sold on eBay for £4 and one sold for £6. Way, we're in the money. Um, however, that was in winter and it's now spring, summer. So people will be wanting this kind of shit. So I'm going to charge him £15 for it. Hooray! Go Team Lex! Uh, next pair of shoes are these fabulous Brooks. You can see the brand there. I can't read it, it's backwards. YouTube has changed physics again. And it says Lacey's London. They're not the most amazing brand, but they are still quite smart. These are a size 6, so they're ladies ones. And they got little hearts. That's cute, isn't it? Um, but, you know, keywords... Jazz, Great Gatsby, Spats, Jazz again for shits and giggles, Brown, Brogues, yeah, so I think I paid £4 for these, £4 or £5, and I'm hoping to get about £20, £25 back. Next pair of shoes that were obviously owned by the same person, another pair of Brogues with hearts, um, but these are made by Harrickson. And these are real leather, real suede. 
But again, Elvis Festival coming up, and these are blue suede shoes. So I might keep them for the Elvis Festival and sell them at a ridiculous price of like 30, 40 pound. I pay, again, I paid four or five pound for these. Um, I'll stick them on eBay for 25 though. But yeah, if they're still around for the Elvis Festival, um, then I'll charge a little bit more because they're gonna love them. Uh, pound rail item. This is just a Pure New World Gents uh, check. Marks and Spencer's blazer. It looks really cool on. I've tried it on and I love it. Again, there's a possibility that I might keep it. Uh, for a pound, I reckon I can get about £12 back on that one. Uh, same on this one. This is another pound rail item. This is from... I don't know if you can see that. Mr. Kingsway, there are some listed on eBay. I can't see any of that are sold recently. But it's a nice enough, just, you know, simple summer. That's not Parker. It's not a Mac. It's just a coat. Khaki. But it is vintage. And it was owned by. Do you know this guy? It was owned by Douglas Richards. Hmm. The Douglas Richards. So, yeah. From a pound, get twelve pound back for that. Um, this is a cap which is going to be used in a film about an old guy that escapes from his nursing home. So that isn't to sell. That cost me a pound, but it isn't to sell on. That's for use in a film. Uh, bought a groovy tie for a pound because I think it looks like Jesus and his pal, who's got a weird nose. But it looks a bit like Jesus, isn't it? It's a silk tie, Umano, which is 100% pure silk made in Italy. Again, they do sell on eBay for mm, between like 6 and £20, depending on the design. But because it's, I reckon it's Jesus, or at least a very close facsimile, because you don't know what he looks like. So we're going to try for that anyway. Eh, £15 maybe. This is a belt I bought for a pound, just because it's leather and like fabric like wool sort of embroidered again i just thought that was kind of groovy it's very well worn but that doesn't really matter it kind of adds to it i think so festival season coming up um uh, you're gonna love it 10 12 pounds on that okay summertime cruises ladies of a certain age one certain of a something of a certain style to wear a certain night so this cost me £1.99 so it is a 1920s inspired keywords skirt and little cami top so that's quite pretty from Anna Morelli now that's not a brand that if you search on eBay sells well at all so I, if it's something that I think what the item is is more important than the name, then I won't mention the name until obviously the specifics. But, you know, if I describe that as an Anna Morelli skirt and top, no one's going to look for it. If I describe that as Great Gatsby 1920s and star inspired flapper two piece number cruise, then I might have a chance. Um, this was from 199 Shop. This is a 90s Ben Sherman silk plaid check, whatever you want to call it, skirt, very clueless, uh, the film clueless, um, a bit, what was Empire Records as well, it's what Liv Tyler would have worn in Empire Records. So Ben Sherman again doesn't sell very well unless you want to send it to America, Americans still kind of like Ben Sherman I think. Um, but yeah, I'm still gonna get from one ninety nine. Still gonna get about twelve fifteen pound for that. Again for one ninety nine, a pair of nineteen eighties Fred Perry. Look at that logo. That's the Fred Perry logo. If you ever see that in anything, buy it. So again, you got tennis season coming up soon, haven't you? So Fred Perry sells well in tennis season, or it should sell well in tennis season, even though these aren't tighty whities or anything. But nice khaki safari pants from the 80s. They are 32 waist, so it would suit a woman probably more than a gent. 
So I'm going to try for 15, 20 pound on them from my 199. Another one pound rail item. Again, Dreams, not a particular good brand. But look, it's a shiny purple jacket with a nice big thing at the back. I think it's very like David Bowie-esque. It's very cool. So I'm going to get 20 quid for that. I spent a fiver on this. This, I spent a fiver on it. It smells of Boy at Festival or Boy at Festival Gone Fishing. Ugh. However, the label says Pretty Green. Pretty Green is a really good brand. Festival wear from a fiver. This should get me about £35, if not a bit more. Um, yes, last item of clothing. The last one I found on the floor in a charity shop and loved and unwanted. No. This was one ninety nine. The make is Natalia Couture. And this is one of those dresses that you think has come from a Chinese website where it's gonna fit awful. But actually they're quite surprisingly nice. So I've looked up the pictures of it online, um, like from their website, and it does look quite nice. Originally this was sold for £380. Who would spend £380? I think someone might have worn it at their wedding because the trail bit at the end, train, has got a little bit of mud and stuff. So it is going to have to be dry cleaned. Well not dry cleaned, when I say dry cleaned I mean I'm going to shove it in the sink with a bit of non-bio. <laughs> um, and just hope for the best really so from my £1.99 on a dress that was originally £380 I'm going to try for about 100 and we'll see how we go other things that I bought from Pothcall today was two scarlet eggs and a faggot but I'm not selling them on eBay because that would be weird and I also bought some sugar-free pineapple fizz sweets, which are delightful. So, again, back by a popular request, you can watch me eating sweets if you like. Oh, it is very fizzy, very nice. Okay, right, I'm going to go and watch the rest of Ads' video. He's currently looking at Blue Peter annuals. Oh, bless him. He wasn't even born then. Oh. Anyways, jazz hand number two, jazz hand number one, in no particular order. These are for you. Just you. Enjoy them, and I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye now.